Hello guys, um, I want to make a quick video uh, for you guys who have a snap-on unit, uh, Virus, Verdict, uh, Solus, pretty much any of the units that uses a uh, wireless uh, connection with the VCI module and I'm pretty sure many of you guys experience a problem where data is very slow to transfer, you having no communication messages and all kinds of stuff so uh, um, you got to make sure that your uh, tool is up to date and I'm talking about up to date, I'm not talking about the uh, uh, software, you know, the package uh, this one is like 13.2 or something but the update, the software update and um, to um, check there like on a virus uh, down here uh, on the um, on the lower uh, right corner uh, you have to have your uh, uh, scan tool uh, hooked up to a internet and uh, right in here you're going to have a update uh, so there's a check for updates here and then you're going to click on that and the machine is going to go through um, checking for the updates of the, the software updates now there's so right now I don't have any uh, I already done it so now the second problem is that actually the VCI has to be updated and that's um, um, can be very um, stressful also because this this thing has to has to be updated as well so in order to do that you have to buy this uh, mini uh, USB cable uh, so this is what it looks like just a just a mini USB cable you connect to the back of your tool so what you need to do uh, you need to plug into your USB port on your scan tool whichever you have, a virus, a verdict, or SOS I think SOS Pro actually uh, so now on the VCI unit right in the back here you're gonna open this uh, uh, rubber cover and if you if you have a message that your VCI module needs to be updated don't ignore that because you know, not only is it going to be an annoying message every time you turn on the machine but you can ex exhibit a lot of issues with your, with your communication so, uh, so what you're going to do, you're going to open up this uh, rubber uh, grip on the side, just kind of this cover and then you're going to flip this little window, little door actually, flip, flip it open and uh, you'll see there's uh, three connectors here, these are for the internet connections and this one in the middle is what you're going to need so uh, before you uh, uh, turn on your, your uh, uh, shop stream, your, your uh, uh, diagnostic, uh, diagnostic uh, um, uh, software on your, on, your, on your tool, plug this in. So just simply uh, plug it in. It's going to beep a little bit and uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get powered up right away. You don't have to have it hook it up to, uh, uh, to, scan, uh, to a car. So this is going to be plugged powered by, by the scan tool. So I'm going to set it on the side and uh, so let's see if uh, I'm going to have any updates. So I'm just going to open up my window, my program and again uh, uh, this can cause a lot of a lot of issues when you uh, uh, connect into the car. Uh, you have to of course you have to make sure that you're synced to this to this tool. So Scanner. There you go. So, as I said, you know, if you have a this message, uh, uh, said that uh, there's an update available. Now you have to have this plugged in. Uh, now it's going to do automatically. So just leave it alone, let it run, and uh, uh, this these tools will uh, run a lot better once the uh, update's done. And of course, as I said, you have to make sure that your update is done on the tool itself, and that'll lower. Uh, right corner, just check for updates, click on it and make sure um, uh, you got all the software updates that you needed. So as I said right now, just uh, uh, just let it run and um, uh, now um, as I said you got to have this uh, uh, synced and I'll show you how, you how you can do that as well. I'm pretty sure you guys know that but uh, again if you if you have this message it tells you that you've got to have update your uh, VCI, don't ignore it because at some point you, you might get that it's not going to communicate with the VCI at all. Uh, that's what I had. I mean, I was, but actually today I was, 
having a lot of issues with the communication. Now, once you've done this, actually, the machine is going to run a lot faster. Uh, and again, this, my, my uh, coverage is like a 13.2 on this tool, and I'm not going to update it. I'm, um, but uh, uh, so right now, we're just uh, doing what it needs to do. Uh, you're going to see these, these uh, 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 LEDs are going to kind of flash from, from uh, green to, to red. Again, you don't have to have it hooked up to your to the car to OBD2 connect to just hook up this cable to it. And again, this is just a uh, uh, I went this AutoZone actually got one from ten bucks so the micro USB. Um, so I can't. I'm not sure what the uh, but you know just a micro USB connector. That's what you're going to want on one side that you plug into your VCI and then a very USB port into your uh, scanner. Okay, it's done. It really doesn't take that much long. That doesn't take that much time. But as I said, it's a, this is a 13.2, and once you're done, you just uh, again uh, take this apart, uh, flip it over, and pull it out, and uh, you're done. And again, uh, this will run a lot, lot faster. The data transfer is going to be a 10 times faster than what it was. I mean, this was freezing, doing all kinds of crazy stuff, and I. Uh, I have another wireless unit uh, that was having issues, and uh, uh, after the update on it, it, it works much better. So, okay, guys, uh, this is it. I uh, just want to show you now. If you wanna, uh, when you want to sync your uh, uh, VCR, like like this virus, this this one actually also use it like M2 um, uh, wireless uh, uh, lab scope module. Uh, so any any time you want to sync your your uh, VCI or M2, uh, you go into setting the uh, system settings, and, uh, and like right now I have a this is a very scope one X1 that's actually built into this machine. But uh, uh, so what you're going to need to do you're going you're to plug this in into the power, and um, uh, don't just don't turn the key on, uh, and then you do, you don't want to run any other. Uh, uh, Programs on your on your software. Just uh, this is what you need to do first. So just plug into the uh, just plug it in and uh, just uh, click add, and uh, uh, it will start. You know, f looking for uh, for uh, uh, VCI, and uh, when it's done, uh, uh, I can actually I'll show you guys real quick. Uh, this, this is a uh, uh, six uh, thirty one. It's already paired, but I'll, I'll show the process. So what you're gonna do now? You're just gonna plug this in into the car. No key on. You just have to have a Make sure your OBD2 has a power. And you press and now it's gonna it's gonna look for uh, available um, uh, wireless modules. And once it recognizes, it's gonna ask you to Confirm that you want to add that to uh, uh, this tool. See, like a 631. Sorry. So you're just going to press on that, and you'll be done. If you don't, you know, like if you if you buy used uh, VCI that's not paired with your unit, uh, this is what you. No, it's done. Uh, this is what you have to do. If you buy maybe on used unit on eBay doesn't have VCI and you buy you know VCI from another unit it's gonna work I mean if you have a uh, it's pretty much the same for virus and uh, and uh, like verdict and all they, they, they use the same the same VCI uh, but you have to pair that to your to your device uh, in order to use it and again um, if you used if you, if you buy used want to make sure to do all the updates the software updates that, 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 that are available uh, and then if there, if it asks you for to do the update on your VCI, then make sure you do that because it's not going to go, it's not going to uh, work right. So uh, make sure you do all that stuff. So and uh, just go back, and then you can use whatever you want to use with it. So okay, guys, uh, this is it. Uh, quick, quick uh, uh, tip uh, for you guys who have these units. Uh, again, this is going to run a lot, lot faster once uh, once you do all your updates on your on your tool. And again, don't ignore it because at some point it's going to give you a lot of troubles. And as, as you can see, it doesn't really take that much um, to, to do the update. Okay, thank you guys for watching, and see you next time. Thank you. Bye. So before I finish this video, actually, I, I mentioned before that I have another unit, wireless unit, and this is the uh, 
verdict uh, that I've got on eBay recently that came with the M2 uh, module, the VCI module, you know, main unit. It's a 13.4. Uh, the battery is fine. I don't have a uh, charger for um, this thing. I have to get one off of uh, uh, Snap-on website. But my point here is, I got this ridiculously cheap for the very reason that whoever the, the guy who sold it to me sold this unit for parts or not working because he could never get it to work. He went to uh, um, uh, some dealership. I mean, some garage, and they tried to use it. They could not communicate with the uh, with the cars so when I've got it it was pretty dirty and nasty so I got everything cleaned up and the first thing what I did I, again I, I checked for updates I hooked uh, I connected this tool to a uh, internet and then uh, you know uh, I checked for uh, uh, software updates and uh, um, so right here so that is again so you check on that okay so that's the first you want to do so that's going to do all the software software updates available for this uh, like for this uh, package here, and um, and then you have to uh, sync in your uh, um, uh, VCI. So you got to pair your devices. So I've got I've done that. So this is the one that I paired with, and I need to pair my uh, M2 as well. And uh, so that's the next step. You when you finish that, and uh, it should work. Now it worked fine. It didn't have any problems until today. When it started getting message that I have to do a uh, update on my on my uh, uh, VCI, and what happened actually, I, I was able to communicate with a, with a PCM. I'm looking at the live data and notice my, my RPM doesn't move. It was it's stuck at zero. The car is running. An oxygen sensor are like 700 millivolts. And I knew something's not right, and um, so anyway, um, I could not find any. Uh, um, Instructions how to how to update this uh, this unit. So uh, uh, I just went to uh, got me a uh, that mini uh, USB port, uh, plugged it in. And you can, again, make sure it's uh, hooked up to internet. And uh, it takes a couple of minutes. And now it's actually a lot faster. Runs great. No issues at all. Uh, you know, all the data, all the old PIDs are, are are working. And uh, again, I got this ridiculously cheap. Uh, I can't even mention the price that I paid for this, but the, just for the very reason that whoever had this did not get it to work. And again, if you get these units, they're all over the eBay. Uh, make sure to get everything updated. You know, to get get to the uh, so this update, update your VCI, and you should be fine. These these units really work pretty good. So I know many of you guys have issues and whatever, but uh, um, I believe once you once you get all this done. You know, it should resolve a lot of problems that you, you might get. And uh, not only that, you know, every time you turn the unit on, it's going to ask you for updates. It's kind of annoying, you know, you want to do something else. And then, uh, but again, do not ignore these updates forever because at some point you're going to experience some problems. Okay, guys, this is it. Thank you for, my, for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.